everybody, we're here for uh, my Shanghai diary. We are going into our third year in Shanghai and we absolutely love the city. It's really, really nice living here. Um, you know, it's Sunday morning, the sun's out, it's really beautiful. Um, it's actually, there was a typhoon yesterday and it was raining the whole day. A lot of flooding around the area and uh, yeah, we didn't manage to get out but today we're heading into downtown we actually live like a little bit out of town i would say like 15 minutes by taxi which is not too bad so we're just going to jump on the metro and we're going to go visit my friend joel and um, he's actually moving apartment now so we're going to help him move his boxes and then we're actually going to go find a really tasty burger um, a place called the habit out of california and uh, yeah, gotta get that burger fix and get some sunlight. So I'm trying to get ready to leave. But Jen has decided to do a quick workout. What workout are you doing? I'm doing that 100 glute challenge for 30 days. Who did the video? Vlog a lotties. Cool. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> Winston, come here. Hey, move it! So the other day we just got the tripod here. Yeah. I bought Winston one of these. This is a pet stage bone. We he had a small one, but he actually managed to eat pretty much all of it non-toxic, good for their teeth. It's like a fake wood, plastic wood, and uh, it's non-toxic, so you can really gnaw at it. He really loves it. And if you see, like, he really digs it. So he's gonna go play. And there's a really cool brand in China for dogs and cats called Pet Kit. We like to really move all our stuff from there. Harnesses, they got cool leashes, and up the road they actually have a pet kit grooming center. And if you look at the back there, that's the wall I've been fixing. Uh, Winston gets very excited when he's playing in his corner and scratches the wall. So, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm fix that. I'm ready. You ready to go? Yep. <laughs> Espresso spritzer. Nice. Soda water, espresso, and ice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Excited to go downtown. Finally. It's been yeah. a while. Been a while. Let's go. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, this is our apartment. It's pretty cool. Here's the office. I do most of my work. Oh, I got one of these cool bags I'm going to take today. It's like a camera sling bag. Jenna says it looks like a, like a diaper bag. Here's our other dog. Mushu! She's stoked. Fortunately, the dog's gonna stay here. They can't come to town with us. They can't go to the metro. Uh, so they're gonna hang out. AC's on for them. Here's our bedroom. Very nice apartment. Okay. You got everything you need? Do you have your metro card? I don't need it. <laughs> hey, you surprised me! Okay, so cheers to the bye dogs. Bye bye. Okay, Come let's on. get out of here. Let's go! Woo! Hop on, baby! Sweet! Nice! Bye. So easy.
So one thing about living in Shanghai, um, there's so many people everywhere, non-stop, um, you know, coming from South Africa. Most of us have cars, it's very different here, we don't have a car or anything. But the public transport, like, how much does it cost to get? Three. Three RMB to get from where we live, what, like a 15 minute train ride, it's not so bad. No, it's not. It's like seven minutes. Seven minutes? It's ten minutes if you shoot our way. Ah, uh, yeah. So, basically we're downtown here. We used to live not too far from here, but the rent, pretty much like Hong Kong, it's just, it's really expensive. Um, you know, if you're trying to save a bit of money um, and working as a teacher here, it's pretty lucrative, but you know, the cost of living in a big city like this, uh, you're going to be spending first. Are we crossing? Right. Jenna walks really, really fast. Yeah, and it's but also, you don't video while you're crossing the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's green. Yeah, so, why do you like living in Shanghai? Um, you know, big city is kind of fun and just different. So I say take it in while you're here. You're not going to experience this forever. Yeah. How long did you plan on living here? Well, when we first moved here, you wanted to be here for like five years and I finally persuaded you to leave after three. So, one more year and then we're off to America. So just to fill you guys in, um, I'm, I was born in South Africa, but my dad's my dad's a white South African. Um, actually, used to live in Israel, and my mom's from Thailand. So I've got dual citizenship, but I would say I'm a citizen of the world. But I've got this nice South African accent because I grew up and went to school there. Um, Jenna, my wife. Hey, Jenna. Where are you from? I'm from Tucson, Arizona and proud. Yeah, so I met Jenna in Phuket. I went back to get a new, uh, new passport for my Thai citizenship. And I snatched him away. <laughs> yeah, and then we, we actually we got married about a year ago. And uh, yeah, we've been working abroad together. It's quite a cool experience. We're actually planning on moving back to the states so we've actually got to do the whole alien petition r 130 so part of the series we're actually going to be looking at how how long it takes and how difficult it is for me to go into america um sort of background i'm a qualified person so uh no criminal background good to go but uh america really does paperwork so finally it took us a whole year to get a marriage certificate from uh home affairs in South Africa. Uh, <laughs> South Africa is really in a bad way at the moment. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but most of my friends uh, have left. So I don't really, my brother lives in America now, so I don't really want to be living in South Africa anymore. So yeah, this is our, our kind of transition period until we move to the States, hopefully by the end of the year. And uh, yeah, we're just enjoying our life here in Shanghai. Um, it is kind of a, it's a cool place to live. Um, so many different aspects about it. But I mean, as expats here, we really just kind of live the best kind of life. We don't really get involved in the local type stuff. But yeah, definitely got a lot of stuff to go through when we get to that part of the whole story. So in future episodes, you'll see how, if I can get into America or not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're almost at Joel's house. 
So we're gonna have to do a bit of box lifting. Uh, and he's moving. So I'll have him out. Uh, it's really hot here, sorry for the glasses, but my eyes are so bad in the sun. better than my room like it's like a master bedroom it has like a its own bathroom and shower and things We just spent our afternoon in the former French concession where we used to live. Uh, Joel's just moved to a new spot. It's actually really, really nice. Uh, we had a couple of beers at the Cantina, Cantino Garvey. Um, now we're heading to the Habit. The Habit's uh, at the bottom of the Soho complex. Um, it's not too bad getting there. We just jumped in a DD. What did, what did you type in? The habit. The habit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if, if you live in if you're living in China as an expat, you want to download the app called Didi. Um Didi is really, really uh, easy to Efficient. use. Um they do have hey, a like Feiyu. 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 Yeah, it's bad Feiyu is when you're here. Yeah, Feiyu is a cool uh, shoe brand. Shang from Shanghai. But uh yeah, so no Didi is a great app to use. Uh, it's all in English so you know, like most apps here are in Chinese and you're going to struggle using it if you've never really experienced Chinese, Mandarin characters and whatever. But yeah, you just use DD, um, type in, and um, yeah, it's pretty easy. It's kind of like Uber. Yeah? Oh. So we made it to the Habit. Um, actually, we didn't go to the one at Soho. Apparently there's a few more in Shanghai, which is quite cool. Um, yeah. This one was like... Two miles away from the French concession, we're in Jing'an. Um, we're excited, we're gonna get a couple of burgers. California Burger Girl! California, sweet! Yeah. Uh, I love In N Out. I'm from the West Coast, and In N Out is my place. Okay. But the habit is a new burger joint in California that has made its way to China, and I can't complain. It's really good. And it's similar to In N Out as this. They have the nice chili peppers that I love. They're so good with the burger and fries. What do you have here? These are, I mean, I can't be, I don't know the exact word for this, but I call it just chili. Chili peppers and jalapenos and some sriracha ketchup, ketchup. They don't have Dr. Pepper, so you know you gotta get some passion green tea. That's what we're drinking here. You can't find it anywhere else in Shanghai. Okay, wow. So we've got our burgers, some french fries. Look at these guys. Mm. Jenna, what did you get? Oh my gosh. I got a single burger. You got a double cheeseburger. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Oh, awkward. It's like... Amazing. 
May I dig in? Yeah, please. Oh. How's that? Dang, these burgers are amazing. I mean, like, I've pretty much smashed mine. I got the double. And like, what's nice to get these like sides, pepperonis. So spicy. And so much like tang. Such a nice like addition to your burger. Um, the cool thing about it is like there's no limit. You can like if you're really into your chilies, you can smash. I don't know. One time you smash like two pallets, pretty much of these guys, like a dozen. So good, so spicy, so yummy. Right, so we've had such an amazing lunch. We made it to the habit. It took quite a while, but it was worth it. Yeah, we had a big breakfast, Aaron. You made us French toast. Yeah, we had French toast, hash browns, the works. Uh, now we just had a burger, but it's Sunday, and you know calories don't count on Sundays. Hell yeah. So yeah, we, we're actually going to take the metro back. We are actually quite far from where we stay. Um, I mean, there's probably like 10 metro stops. So we're going to find line one, jump on the train. But don't worry, because I got my beer. Yeah, and you know, the cool thing about China is there's no, um, you, can, you can drink public so it's not that bad even on the metro even on the metro which is weird it's not even frowned upon so yeah well, we kind of is actually well yeah i mean but for the, the greater part of it it's not that bad um yeah so we're gonna find metro line one we're gonna jump on it's gonna cost us four, five. four r b to get back to us and that's like i mean how much would a taxi cost Probably like 70 RMB, so we're gonna save big time. And we're you know, save 62. The nice thing about the metro is there's no traffic, you jump on the train, happy days. Oh, you and our e bikes there, so we can just zoom on home. That's true. And we gotta get home, take the dogs for walk, and then later I'm gonna show you how good a Ferminator works if you've got long haired pets, like uh, two dogs. If you, know what a, if you know what a Ferminator is, I'll drop the link in the description of what oh we're going to be using <laughs> and uh, yeah if you've got dogs at home you're going to be using the Furminator because apparently it's the best way 90% reduction of hair shedding of your dogs. Yeah, I hope so because I find Winston's fur balls everywhere. Yeah so we're going to find line one catch up with you later. Bye. The joys of public transport managed to get from one side of town back home for for me we're gonna jump on the you back now i'm driving i'm driving i'm driving i'm gonna go home take the dogs for a walk and then our day's almost done i'm holding a weight and aaron expects me to hold this while he's driving yeah I think this is the, the Furminator. No, Dad. I was trying to move it, but I managed to unbox it. And we have the, the Furminator. De-shedding tool, medium for long hairs. Reduces shedding to 90%. I think it's gonna work on my English cup spaniel. That's a hairbrush. Oh, this guy. Winston definitely needs the Furminator. Winston needs to be a shared with the Furminator too. Please. 
Take all of his for all. So scary. <laughs> Sit. Winston, sit. Sit. Good boy. How's the fair matter going? Ugh. I mean, look at all this hair coming off. That's okay, buddy. I don't know if Winston likes it. I mean, Jerry doesn't like his hairbrush, but keep going. Come here, buddy. Come play. Sit. Good boy. It's okay. Look at all this hair! You're so fuzzy! Don't you want to cool down? Come here. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice. Oh, wow! It's the Ferminator! <laughs> so we just used the Ferminator for the first time. Hey buddy. I mean, we've been here for an over an hour. Yeah, look at all this hair. How much hair do you think is there? How many pounds? Oh, half a pound. Hey Oh Douglas. my god. This is insane. Hey Machine. Come here. Wait instead. Chicken. So, out of 10, what do you rate the Furminator? Oh God, look at this. I mean, honestly, the dogs don't really like it because it's a bit scary, but... Does it work? Yeah, it works well. And like, it's going to help them not shed so much throughout the summer. So, is it a good buy? Yeah. Would you recommend it to... Any lo long-haired dog, yeah. Yeah. They also have a short-haired dog version. Um, oh, wait. look at that. Yeah, it's crazy. That's from two dogs. Oh, stop it. Winston's got very curly hair. Oh my god, so... I am full of fur. Should we furminate you? <laughs> I'd already tried. Nothing really comes out. I think it's because I comb my hair a lot. Doesn't work for humans, <laughs> unfortunately. See, Winnie, I tried it too. It doesn't hurt. It's fine. You're just a little baby. Little baby. Little baby. Is it time for a walk, Winston? Oh, we need to throw this thing away. Do you go walkies? I need to throw my, so my socks away. Do you want to go walkies? Walkies! Walkies! Let's go! Okay, let's go for a walk. Doogie! Doogie! Doogie!